ladies, hey, let's spice up the galley this year. You know, I love to cook, and I like to season things. But, you know, it gets to be such a pain in the butt. You get ready to do something. Now you're searching through, trying to find the spices that you need. The cabinet is all. Yeah, I could do a better job of organization, too. But, you know, there are several types of seasoning and cooking that I use on a regular basis. So what I've done is I've developed a list here of about five items that I put together... Now, you can, sure, you can go out and buy these already made, but I'd rather custom make them myself, such as the Mediterranean spice that I like. That's got a lot of different things in it. And rather than sit here and show you how to make each of these, you know, a spoonful here, a spoonful there, you mix them together, you put them in a nice little container, and you save them for later. Oh reminds me get a screw cap type container don't use the plastic zip bags those eventually break open now you got spice all over the place but anyway rather than sit here and I mean how exciting can that be watching somebody pour spice onto a plate I mean that's almost as exciting as watching plants grow for crying out loud and the other thing about mixing your own spices, you can add and subtract whatever you want. You know, these recipes are just a guideline. Sort of like the pirate code. The code is more what you'd call guidelines than actual rules. So what I've done is I'll put a link in the bottom here in the description. You can click it on, and it'll go to my website where I have all of these uh, recipes written. And... The ones that I put together, well, I've done a Mediterranean spice, and the Mediterranean spice, that can really vary. I mean, you know, the Mediterranean is so large. Greek, Italian, uh, Portugal, I mean, it just goes on and on. But this is the one that I like. It's more of a kind of like a Greek seasoning. And then, uh, of course, the Mexican, Italian. Oh, and on the Italian one, later this year, when my garden gets growing, I'll have fresh uh, herbs to put in that. Oregano, some basil, some rosemary, where I can chop that up and, and dehydrate it, basically, and have it for the whole year. Then a southwest, oh, jerk for seasoning on uh, steaks and chicken on the grill and then I also put together a Midwestern uh, steak or just a steak seasoning and sometimes I don't use the steak seasonings at all I like the flavor of the meat just a little salt and pepper and in these recipes you won't find anything on salt or pepper that's because it's really to taste in your diet I like to use the uh, sea salt or the Himalayan salt and I prefer to use the fresh ground black pepper for more flavor so you won't see those in the recipe you just add those as you would like well I hope you find these helpful like I said you know put them together the way you like them it's gonna be a heck of a lot easier on the boat to grab one container rather than pull out seven or eight or five or six different containers to season one or two pieces of meat. This is going to be a time saver and a space saver. Well, until next time, guys, bon appetit and happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends.